One of the biggest mistakes I've seen when creating a help document is not taking care of search engine optimization settings. And this is a big mistake because you are losing out on free organic traffic. When someone is searching for a similar problem, a similar question, a similar service, well, you have a chance of popping up with your help document. So it's a big plus to take care of your search and optimization settings. So let me show you on Document 360 how you can improve your SEO. So follow me to my desktop right now. One of the reasons I like Document 360 is because they have the SEO settings that we're going to need to appear on search engines. Plus, they have other features like check for broken links and modify our robot.txt and some other features. Now, if you want to check it out, link will be provided in the description for Document 360. Now, let me show you on Document 360 on one of my articles how this is going to be improved and how we can make this actually appear on search engines. Now, on Document 360, to go to our documentation, we're going to click on Documentation. We're going to open up our menu and we're going to have our articles right here. The first thing that we're going to do is obviously write our article. Our article has to be well documented and cover what we're going to talk about in a neat form. And obviously, we need to take advantage of H2, H3, and H4 formats so the search engines know that this is a well documented article. Now, I do recommend that you write at least 1,500 characters for this because you're going to cover a, a good portion of what you're trying to talk about. Why? Because it is going to help search engines know that it's a well documented document article and that the information is going to be there. Now, for the SEO settings for this, we're going to click on this gear icon and this is going to give us this tab that says SEO. Now, first of all, we're going to work on SEO title. So that means that we're going to write a nice written title that has to do with our article plus a potential question that someone might ask. Remember, this is not just about documented what your service can do, but it's a reason to pop up in a search engine, okay? Then we have our slug. The slug has to be linked to what we have written right now. So in this case, why did we build Document 360? And be aware that these are dashes, okay? And then we have the SEO description. The SEO description is recommended 120, 260 characters, okay? Now, I already wrote the description here, and they have a neat feature when you're on the paid plans, which is generate SEO description generator. So based on the title, based on the category, and based on the article, it's going to write automatically the SEO description, which is pretty cool. And it saves you a lot of time because you don't have to think about what you need to write in the description. Plus, it's going to write the exact content that you're going to need, and it's not going to go over that. OK, you can also exclude the document from search. So that means that you don't want it to appear in search engines. Exclude from external search engines like Google, Bing, Yahoo, etc. Again, to exclude them. And once you set this up, it's a nice start. But there's more settings that we're going to be working with. The other thing you want to set up is tags. Tags are going to be related to your document article. So in this case, it's a tutorial. It's a getting started tutorial. And if you need to add more tags, you can do so on the tag section. Once you set that up, you're going to go into featured image. Why? Because when you share these on social media, when it appears on Google, etc., we need to have this image. So we're going to upload an image. In this case, I'll just select this one that I have already, and we're good to go with this one. So I'm going to save it, and boom, we have the first process of the first article that is optimized for search engines. Now, there's more settings in Document 360 that we can work with. Now, things that we have to set up, well, let's go into our settings, and we're going to expand the menu. And in this section, knowledge base site and article settings and SEO, we're going to go into the SEO section. This is the robot.txt. This is where we edit the robot.txt. So if we click on edit, right now it's on disallow. And what we want to do is change this to allow. So that way we allow the documents to be pinged by Google and Bing. Okay. Then we have the sitemap. This is our sitemap URL. Why is this important? When we are opening an account on Google Webmaster or Bing Webmaster, it's going to ask us for our sitemap. What does the sitemap do? Well, the sitemap is going to tell us all the pages that we've created. OK, so this one is going to automatically go and ping over there and find these pages that we've created articles in this case, and it's going to go ahead and add them to Google or in the other case, Bing. So it's really important that we add that. Now, that's for the SEO part. And there's other tools that Document 360 has that's going to help you with your search engine optimization. And one of them is going to be here. So we're going to go into analytics and In analytics. There's a section that says link status. Why is this important? You might be saying, well, what does this have to do with SEO optimization? Well, you don't want dead links in your articles. Why? Because that's going to tell 
Google or Bing that something is wrong and you haven't updated your article and you don't take care of this, okay? So it's important that we check our links. See, we have one broken link that we need to fix in this particular article. So go into the article, go ahead and update it, and this is gonna be searching to find a broken links. So it's really important that we take care of this. So in that sense, Document 360 has the tools that you're going to need to rank on search engines. So it's up to you to write a nice, well-written article. So please don't leave these settings alone. Do take care of them because it will help you rank on search engines and thus appearing when someone is searching a similar service like yours and potentially get a new client based on that. Plus, you're going to get some organic traffic, which is going to, in return, give you more traffic because the search engines are going to find that you have documents that are well worth appearing on the search engines. Well, there you go. That is the settings on Document 360. And if you are using any other help document, do take care of these settings. If they don't have these settings, I do recommend that you check out Document 360. That does have these settings that you're going to need to appear on search engines. And that's a wrap.